Okay, today is the day. We're going to do some glass work today. And before we get started, I thought I'd show you what we're going to start with after uh, applying all the PVA and what it looks like, and then uh, probably give you a shot of what it looks like after it's painted. And then we'll set up and we'll do some glass work. We'll get our part done, and we should be able to pull that either later on tonight or tomorrow morning and start trimming. We'll be ready to put it on the trailer here in a few days. So let's take a look what we got. So after going around about three times, just fogging the uh, PVA on, then I opened the gun up two full turns and slowed down the sweep as I sprayed and we get a nice glossy finish on here. Everything is laying smooth, no runs, no drips, no errors. So that's what you want. There's a nice shine on here when you're done. Everything is covered and uh, it's looking pretty good. So. Now we are ready to start painting. We'll get this gel coat on and then we can get ready to do our glass work. All right, now we have our gel coat applied and we are about ready to start glassing. We'll let this uh, flash off for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then we can uh, prep for glass work and we can get our part finished. All right, we're getting ready to do some glass work and uh, so I think in video number three, I think it was number three, I showed you the product that we used for the fiberglass, which was made by a Bondo product. And uh, the resin that we're going to be using is also by Bondo. Uh, I purchased these local. So we have Lowe's, Home Depot, we have Ace Hardware, we have a Bimark, and whenever possible I usually shop local. Uh, you can purchase these online for probably a lot less cheaper than you'll buy them in your local store and you might even be able to get some free shipping off of eBay or Amazon uh, so you can save a little bit of money there if you purchase that online so that's the resin comes with the catalyst you're also going to need a container to mix it in and also a couple of brushes to apply the gel coat and when applying make sure you got a couple of gloves rubber glove, latex gloves uh, that's going to that's gonna help so you don't get so messy. And also, you're going to need a roller, a bubble buster, or whatever you would like to call it. Uh, yep, I purchased one on Amazon before I found mine in a box in the garage. I've had that for many, many decades, a couple of decades at least. And uh, that's what we're going to use as we apply our glass and roll out the bubbles. So and some acetone. You're going to need some acetone. And that keeps your brush clean or else you're going to have to get yourself a bucket load of brushes as each one's going to get hard after a little bit of time. So with that we're ready to start applying some glass. So my first step <coughs> is I'm going to mix up some resin and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to coat the inside of my gel coat here. Then I'm going to lay my glass inside and I'm going to coat that with uh, resin and then I'll begin rolling that out. So that's the plan and that should work with any luck and also if you're in an enclosed area you're probably going to want to use a respirator as this stuff is a little smelly but uh, we'll pop open the door here after a while and uh, let some of the fumes out. But yeah, If you like boats, working around boats, you'll like the smell of this. So let's get the glass out. So once we applied our, our resin on the inside, then we laid our glass over top, and now we're just going to apply our resin on top. We'll add a couple of la uh, layers, and then we'll begin to roll it all out. And you want to kind of move fast at this point, because now you're working against the clock. We get a couple layers of that, and then we come back with our roller and we start rolling out all the air bubbles. And you want to make sure to get in the uh, corners of everything real good because that's where the air bubbles like to get trapped. And 
you don't get that out, then we'll have some repair to do once uh, the parts pull, and we want to avoid that. Okay, so that's our first go around with the glass. Uh, it started kicking off on me, so I finished up the first layer that I wanted to get on. And uh, once that sets up for a little bit, then we'll go ahead and do repeat the process, put another layer on it, and uh, probably strengthen up the uh, edges a little bit. And then we will be close to being done. All right, it's coming along. Okay, happy to say we got the first skin coat on and uh, it's cured about 50%. You can touch it, it's still a little tacky, so we're gonna get ready to put our next coat on, and that'll give us a pretty good bond. Now when I'm mixing my resin, I'm using a mixing cup, and I'm mixing about 12 ounces at once, and for my catalyst, uh, came with the gel coat. One lid, I'll squirt the catalyst in the lid, is about two and a half cc's, and I was putting two of those in one 12 ounce cup, uh, adding about uh, five cc's. And that just wasn't enough time for me to get around this thing quick enough. So when I mix my last batch and uh, going around the edges, it got hot on me. So we're going to mix it just a little bit cooler, give myself a little bit more time to lay in the glass, get it wetted out and rolled. I uh, lucked out, was able to get everything in, wet out, and rolled uh, all the air out before uh, it really gelled up. So, skin coat, uh, normally you can probably lay it up all at once, but uh, since this was going off pretty quick, I decided to stop. No one to stop. And uh, <clears throat> let this set up, then we'll go ahead and pick up where we left off. So, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to put in the uh, second skin of fiberglass. We'll beef up uh, the edges, reinforce that with some cloth, and then we're done. Okay, we are done with the glass work. Now what I'll do is once this is cured, I'll scuff it up with some sandpaper, and then I'm going to apply some white gel coat on the backing. Uh, one, it'll make it look a little bit better, and uh, it'll seal the uh, fiberglass. <sighs> Yeah, that was a lot longer than I thought it would take, but it's done. All right, so today what I'm doing is I took the mold outside and we're just going to scuff up the inside uh, with some sandpaper, make sure that our gel coat sticks real nice and proper like, and mainly just to get down, knock down some of the high spots from all the uh, dripping from the cup when I was glassing this thing. So kind of looked ugly, but we'll smooth it out. Put some gel coat on there, touch up the edge, and then uh, get ready to pull this thing out of the mold. So let me give you a shot what we got so far. So I'm using a Porter cable, rechargeable, and I've got uh, some 40 grit sandpaper on there, kind of going at it aggressively. And I'm just knocking down all the high spots that I can and uh, get it smoothed out a little bit. And then we'll give it a nice acetone bath and then we can apply the gel coat. I still need to take a little hand grinder and probably go around and touch up this edge so it's nice and clean at least uh, until we get it out of the mold. Then we can trim it down to where we need it to be. So that's where we're at. Uh, let me get this thing ready and we'll get some gel coat on there. Okay, so we got things sanded down and I touched up around the edge. And what I did is just basically take it down to the gel coat all the way around without going through. I uh, don't want to sand my mold. So, that's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is uh, take a couple of rags, wipe it down with some acetone, mix up our gel coat, and paint that in there by brush, and wait till that dries.
So that's the shot of it with the uh, gel coat just brushed in there. And you just want to go around and cover and make sure all the pinholes are nice and sealed up. And now we just wait till it dries. And then we can hopefully pull it out. All right, the time's come. We're going to see if we can't get our part out of this mold. And uh, my buddy Jack's a little more excited than I am. <laughs> he came out and started without me. So, he doesn't mess it up. I'm taking over. <laughs> All right, so the idea is to get some air under this edge, break it free, and then we'll try to pull this part out. Hopefully it comes out in one piece. And uh, either we get ourselves a back guard, stone guard, or it goes into the junkyard. One of the two. So let's see what happens. All right, the day of luck just comes out all right. So that's the, that's the green film. And uh, that should be uh, on top of everything. That's what makes it popped out. Yep, so that's coated under everything. So when it comes out, if it comes out. All right. You want me to get a bucket? Yeah, bucket will be Where's great. Where's that bucket? on there so it kind of keep the chips together. Well, that's coming off the mold pretty good, so I'm happy about that. save the mold for another part. one piece. try to do is get to the edge and try to break the edge loose, put some air in there and see if this thing won't come up.
due to that. Beginning of our stone guard here. <laughs> yeah. TVA works great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is our back guard for the front of the trailer. It worked. Came out beautiful. And that's how we make our stone guard. So uh, I, for one, am very happy that uh, it turned out really well. The PVA is the trick. So there is our back guard for the front of our trailer. And that should deflect a lot of stones that are going to pop up on some of these trails that we go on. But uh, very simple, do-it-yourself, backyard. Is it flawless? <laughs> no. It's a backyard builder's job. So uh, there's a little imperfections in it, a couple of scratch marks maybe somewhere. A bug or two landed in it. But uh, yeah. It turned out it turned out really well so I'm happy with it I am I'm pleased to death so that's probably going to end our video on this one how we glassed it up and pulled our part and what we got out of it so the mold is seasoned now and we can <laughs> we can produce as many as we want out of here so if you need a stone guard let me know I think uh, my neighbor Jack and I we need something to do we could hook you up. So next uh, next video we'll be trimming this. I've got some U-trim that we're going to be putting around the edge. I've got the stainless steel hinge that we're going to be applying and then I have some struts that we're going to fasten to the trailer and attach to our stone guard so we can open and close and uh, wow we're almost ready for the road. So as always thank you for watching and uh, if you haven't already subscribe because things are things are getting ready to move along getting ready to do another trailer perhaps and uh, leave a comment below if there's something uh, you liked or didn't like about the videos and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can so until uh, till next time stay tuned <laughs>